Hey everybody, what's up? Hey, just wanted to take a couple minutes here and do a, a quick video on a topic I've been thinking about a lot, a lot the last couple weeks and sort of wanted to get everybody's opinion on this, maybe get a little conversation going, see what y'all think about it. And that's, a lot of it is, is uh, surrounding the fact uh, about Brian New winning his first Elite Series tournament that he fished. Um, and sort of like in the bigger picture, what does that mean for like the future of the top tours as far as uh, you know how the format and how the field is basically determined. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Brian. Um, that what an incredible accomplishment to win the tournament like that in his first tournament. And you know I, I fished around him all this year on the Bassmaster Central Central Open, and what an impressive year he had. I mean that that like I said the Bassmaster Opens in my opinion, are probably the most competitive circuit out there. You've got 200 plus guns in every tournament, local guys that are just sticks. And for him to come out, you know, as good as he did, qualify for the Elite Series, uh, lead the points division, uh, is just a phenomenal accomplishment. And, you know, he and he's sort of been, you know, on the radar for a long time. I mean, he's been an unbelievably successful co-angler. And no doubt he has a, a, a really bright future in the sport. Um, but what I was going to talk a little bit is, um, you know, Brian, uh, you know, he represents a, a lot of what is out there on the open circuit. There is so much talent out there on the open circuit that is, that is just right on the verge of coming to the surface. And a lot of people don't give the anglers credit for that because, you know, as good as Brian New is, I mean, there's a lot of anglers, I'm not saying as good as he is, but there's a lot of anglers out there that you've never heard of that are close to his caliber of fishermen. They just have not really got the brakes yet. And what happens in order to emerge um, in the top four in the points out of 200 some people, um, you basically have to have the season of, of your lifetime. You can't stub your toe, you gotta catch them every time. And to be able to crawl out of that mire of the Bassmaster Opens, it's just a big quagmire of fishermen in there. And to crawl and scratch your way out to qualify for the Elite Series is an incredible accomplishment. Um, but what I was talking about a little bit more here is when you're talking about the top level tours like the, uh, you, you know, the Bassmaster Elite Series or, you know, like the MLFs, um, which again, the MLF, there was no qualification. They just handpicked those people out there and put them in the tournament. So there was no qualifying for that. But what I'm saying is, uh, I think one of the things that needs to be addressed in this particular situation is that once an angler qualifies for those top lever tours, it seems like that they, they get sort of taken under the wing and their, and their spots are protected to a large degree. There's a lot of exemptions that come up. They create exemptions to keep certain anglers in. Um, and once you do make it to the top tier, um, you know, it's really difficult to lose your spot over there. At the same time, it's very difficult for new anglers like Brian New to come up. In order to get, like I said, in order to qualify for those, I, I don't even know what the deal is with the, with the MLFs as far as getting to that. But like with the Elite Series tournament, you have such just a a minuscule chance to qualify. I mean, it's very small. And uh, in doing so, um, you know, I think what that does is it really keeps a lot of super, super talented anglers uh, from having that opportunity. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, there are anglers in the in the Toyota Series uh, MLF, in the Bassmaster Opens, in, in all the AAA circuits, that are simply better than a lot of the anglers that are fishing, you know, the MLFs and the Bassmaster Elites. There's no doubt in my mind there are, but there's been some protections put in place that have kept those anglers in there that has made it very difficult for the new talent to rise to the top. Now, not saying that they won't, but again, how long does it take, I mean, to do that? Um, you know, you look at Scott Martin. Scott Martin, you know, he qualified for the Elites this year. He's arguably one of the top anglers in the world. I mean, I would put Scott Martin in the top 10 in the best anglers on this planet for sure. And, you know, he came close not to making it, even though he had a good year. I mean, he I think he got the last spot in there that they had in there. But, you know, if Scott didn't make it this year, you know, would he have made it next year? You know, would it have taken five years? 
um, you know, just lining up all those good tournaments to put behind each other is an incredible accomplishment. So my question to everybody is, um, you know, what do you guys think? I mean, what do you think when you're talking about uh, creating the field, what you consider the, the top two or level events in the sport, what does everybody think that that should look like? Does it, should the people that qualify, qualify for that or the people that are in it now, should they be grandfathered in and make it, and should it be very difficult for them to get knocked out? Um, or should we set up a situation where we create more opportunities for anglers like Br the Brian News out there? Um, you know, all those guys that came up through the, the open circuit. So you look back, so many guys that have came up, you know, through the open circuits have, have turned into marquee superstar anglers. They got fortunate enough to get those breaks you know, some of the guys, you know, they went down eight or nine places on certain elites, on certain Bassmaster Open years, and they qualified, they got the breaks. Um, so th from that standpoint, you know, what does it look like moving forward in creating those fields? But one of the things I just wanted to do in this video is I sort of wanted to do a little poll. And if you, you know, if you're interested, drop a comment here on the video. Let me know uh, what you guys think of how do how do we... Uh, secure those top level fields. Um, do you protect the people that are in there? Do you, do you grandfather them in and make it difficult for them to get knocked out? Or do you open up more places for new blood to come into the sport? For younger blood, older, older, younger, I'm not really putting an age group, but do you put more opportunities for those AAA anglers to come up to be given a chance at the top level? So anyway, just, you know, I, that struck me, you know, you know, that particular topic really struck me when I saw Brian win that tournament last week. And, uh, you know, I've seen so many people just come out of the, of the ranks like that and start to have a good career. But once again, congratulations to Brian, incredible start, incredible season last year. Uh, you know, I look for, look for him to be angler of the year winner at some point, maybe classic winner. So anyway, drop those comments, let me know. Let's get a conversation started here, and um, we'll see where it goes from there. See you guys later.